Anyway, yesterday's image quality wasn't the best, so I'm out again and will redo some of the same things. Difference today, I'm going to use the Kestrel, I'm going to use the smartphone, and I'm going to set up the trajectory and use the ballistic throwing function. Select the rifle, and I've already created a profile for the ammunition. Now, the range is 582. The Kestrel tells me the temperature is 16 degrees, and the pressure is 979. Okay, so that's 40 click suggested from the ballistic app. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Add 10, 17. Add 10, 27. Add 10, 37, 38, 39, 40. Now, my BDC turret says now 560. <laughs> And I know for a fact that that's not the right answer. And we saw yesterday that we were hitting low. We have approximately the same condition. So now I have 44 on the turret compared to what the ballistic solver says, which is 40. Let's see how that goes on the ballistic bar. And remember the lesson from last season. Trigger finger 90 degrees. Fold the grip in. Find a place with the thumb and hook the rifle in. So I have wind and I can see the Mirage moving left to right. I'll just hold on the side of the plate. Checking natural point of aim. Read. Okay, so we are shooting over. Same hole. Now, that shooting is consistent enough to start clicking the scope. So, we'll just measure it on the emerald scale here. And we can see that we are exactly two clicks high. So that was on the bar. Go in here, ballistic calibration, range one, five, eight, two. So what the program does now is it adjusts the muscle velocity. And once I've done the ballistic calibration, I can trust what the computer says. So I'll just go in again. I'll put in 1000 meters. And I'll use the same calibration on the turret. 970. 970. Going to make it 10. And trajectory. Now, I'll put this trajectory into my notebook. And after I'm done with that, I will no longer need this. And the reason I want it in paper is that I want an easy reference. Because you do get tired. You do make mistakes, 